Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Laker Talk. So, would the Warriors of today beat Magic Showtime Lakers? Now, I know this is silly. This is silly debating of different errors and things like that because it would never happen. You don't really know how it would turn out. But the question was brought up and we're in between games, so let's talk about it. I want to actually want to get in on a little fun. Now, Klay Thompson, after game two of the NBA Finals, kind of took a jab at his dad. He said the Warriors would beat um, the Showtime Lakers. And the thing is, if you don't know, Michael Thompson, his dad, obviously played for you know, the Showtime Lakers. He was a backup center. And so whether or not Klay Thompson was joking, actually his dad, who hosts a radio show, Thompson and Trudell, you know, on 710 ESPN Radio from 10 to noon, and I listened to him for years. He, he was asked about it, and he said, you know what? The Warriors would beat, could beat the My Showtime Lakers. You know, they would give us trouble um, because of their three-point shooting, their defense, their speed, etc. And so he kind of doubled down. Now, if you really know Michael Thompson, he's an introvert. He's kind of like a dorky dad. He's an apologist to his sons. He's always nervous when the, the Warriors play. And he's kind of like, he says some silly things sometimes. Anyway, he's wrong. Now... Magic actually tweeted out and was like, Michael Thompson's wrong. We would beat the um, Warriors. Now, my, my belief is the Lakers, Showtime Lakers, would destroy the Warriors. Now, they wouldn't destroy them, but they would beat them in a five, you know, seven-game series. Like, they'll beat them in five or six games, basically. The series would look like the OKC series, like the front part of the OKC series when OKC gave the Warriors some trouble because of their length and rebounding. That's what you would see against, you know, with the Showtime Lakers. They were all freaking tall, right? Byron Scott was the shortest guy at 6'4". Everybody else was, you know, 6'6", 6'7", 6'8", 6'9", right? And above. Now, if you notice, yes, the Warriors have the three-point shooting. They have good defense, okay? And they're fast. But if you notice in the Cavaliers series, if you pay attention to Steph and Clay, you can kind of keep them at, at, at bay in the sense that they're not going to go off for 50 points, right? You can keep them at 15, 20 points, you know, a game. They're not going to shoot 53 pointers, okay? So, but the difference is the Cavaliers don't have other decent players to match up with all the rest of the Warriors players, right? So, you got Magic going up against Steph, okay? Yes, but you got a thin Magic. Magic would give Steph some problems, but Steph will get some shots off, but Steph couldn't even guard Magic on the, on the defensive end, right? Magic would back him down, it's too big, too strong, would do a nice guy hook over him, right? Now you got Byron Scott going up, going up against uh, Klay Thompson. Now Klay Thompson could, would, could D him up, and, but Byron Scott had good defense back there, right? So he's gonna give Klay, he's gonna stick around with Klay, and you know, when, when Klay cuts and when Klay shoots, Byron Scott's gonna be right there. Now you got Worthy going up against um, he got Worthy going up against Harrison Barnes. Now, Worthy would destroy Harrison Barnes, right? Um, then you got A.C. Green, who is big, is trying to stick with Draymond. Now, Draymond's going to give A.C. some fits, but A.C. can step out and hit the, hit the 12, 15-footer. Also, you're not going to rebound over A.C., okay? And also, you got Kareem at center. He's going to destroy Bogut, all right? Now, off the bench, you're going to bring in Cooper, who's... You're not going to have uh, Sean Livingston, 6'7", Sean Livingston getting his shot off over Kyrie. Nah, -uh. Cooper is what, 6'8", 6'7", 6', you know, whatever, with long arms, heck defense, you know. So he's going to D up Sean Livingston. And then you got Rambis and you got Michael Thompson off the bench to grab rebounds, right? So the Lakers, the Showtime Lakers are going to out-rebound the Warriors and they're going to have good defense and guys that can match up with their guys and on an offensive end when Magic's running, Worthy, Kareem, um, you know, Scott with the outside shot, you know, they would they would be they would destroy the Warriors in my opinion. Now, you would say the Warriors shoots more three-pointers, the Lakers didn't, but guess what? If the Lakers knew who they were playing against and they knew this era was all about three-point shooting, they would have shot more three-pointers. So that's my take on whether or not the Showtime Lakers would, um, would beat the Warriors. Yeah, they would destroy them. In fact, Magic or um, Kobe's and Shaq's Lakers of 2000 would, would beat the Warriors. Even Lakers 2009, 2010 would give them some fits. Why? Because we had length. We had defenders. We had, back then, we got Robert Ory. We had Rick Fox. Um, and obviously Shaq destroying folks down low and Kobe, a uh, prime Kobe destroying folks. Um, you had a lot of length 
and you have big guards that can match up with their length. So, in my opinion, yeah, the Lakers, the Showtime Lakers would destroy the Warriors. So that's my thoughts. Hit me up. Let me know if you think I'm right. If you think the Warriors will beat the Lakers, leave your comments below. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And as always, follow me on Twitter at MikeSportsLA. We'll talk soon. Peace.